Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to be looking at a combination question. So we've got more than one graph and this is a typical exam kind of question. So we're going to be doing a couple of questions but the first one is determine the coordinates of E. Okay so at E that is the point where the two graphs are intersecting. So you should think of simultaneous equations. Okay when you have to find the point where two graphs intersect you're going to use simultaneous equations the problem is is we don't know the equation of the straight line they've told us it's mx plus c but we don't know its exact equation to find the equation of a straight line you need at least two points so on that blue line we have got one point already over here but that's all we don't have another point However, we could easily find this point because that is also a point on the parabola and we know the coordinates, or we know the equation of the parabola. So what is happening at that point for the parabola? Well, that's one of its x-intercepts where the other one is over there. So how do we find the x-intercepts of that parabola? Well, you make y equal to 0. So we're going to take the parabola and make y equal to 0. You could then solve this by using the quadratic formula, but I'm just going to factorize it. You can't always factorize it, but this one can factorize. It will factorize like that. And so your two answers will be x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 1. So you need to know which one belongs where. Well, that one over there is on the negative x axis, so that will be negative 1 and 0. And then this one over here is the positive one, so that will be 4 and 0. Now we have two points on the straight line and so we could work its equation out because we know that in the equation of the straight line it's mx plus c where oh and some people like to use this formula I have seen that it, this one works as well so we need to find the gradient now we know that the gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is given to you over there. And so it doesn't really matter which point you use first, but I'm going to start off with this one. So its y value is 1, then the y value of this point over here is 0, and then the x value of that first one is 0, and then this x value is minus 1. So then you just type all of that in on the calculator and you're going to end up with 1 over 1, which is 1. So the gradient of that line is 1. So we can fill that in over there. Then to find C, which is the last letter that we need, you could use it as the y-intercept, but the best way to remember it for all kind of graphs is to just substitute. So for example, we could substitute this point over here into the equation. So the 0 is the y value. And then the x value there is minus 1. And if you had to go solve for c, you would get 1. So the equation of that line is g of x is equal to x, or I could say 1x if I want, plus 1. Now that I know the equation of the straight line, I can find point E by making the two equations equal to each other. So we've got f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4. And we have g of x is equal to x plus 1. So we can make them equal to each other because we want to know the point where... We want to know the point where they intersect. And so how do we solve this? Well, we take everything over to the left side. So I've taken that over there. So it became minus x. So minus 3x minus x is minus 4x. And then this is going to end up as minus 5 after I take that 1 over. You can then use the quadratic formula here. Or you could factorize if you want. This one does factorize nicely. So I'm just going to factorize it. And so your answers will be x is 5 or x is minus 1. So that's telling you that the places where these two graphs intersect is at 5 and minus 1. Well, we already knew that they intersected at minus 1. We could see that. So obviously the other answer is x is equal to 5, and that's this point over here. So its x value is 5, but what is its y value? Well, we don't know. So what we do is we substitute that x value into one of the equations. It doesn't matter. So you could substitute it into that one or that one. I'm just going to use the straight line because it's a lot easier. So that's 5 plus 1. And so the y value there is 6. The next question is one of those typical questions that a lot of the students that I tutor, they really don't like these questions, okay? And it's just due to a lack of practice, okay? They don't go over this a lot in class. So they're saying for which value of x is f of x, so you must always think to yourself, what is f of x? f of x is the parabola, so the red graph. Where is that bigger than g of x, which is the straight line? Now, what does this even mean? It means where is the red graph 
above the blue graph. So if I had something like this, and I had a blue graph that did that, well then the places where the red graph is above the blue graph would be over here for example we can see that the red graph is above and then over here again you can see the red graph is above and then over here the red graph is above in all the other places the pink graph I mean the blue graph is above so where is the red graph above on this picture well it, it is above over here and then also over here you can see that the red graph is above but in the middle here, the blue graph is above. Can you see that? So our answer is going to be this part here and this interval over here. Now, how do we answer that? Well, you answer it using x values. So this interval over here is all the x values where x is smaller than, and this x value is minus 1. So x must be smaller than minus 1. Or another place where the red graph is above is over here, where x is greater than 5. So x is all the numbers that are greater than 5. And then just remember to add x is an element of real numbers.